Hello, and welcome to episode 12. Um, if you hear my cat in the background, that is Simon. I am Backspacer57. Um, so, welcome. Um, this is officially 12 episodes. So, where are we at here? Still loading, right. Um, so let me resize the window here. So what have I been up to? So I have been taking forever to edit the videos. So... Yeah, there's that. That's not the coolest. Um, I've been put, putting more thatching on that. It's been time consuming and a lot of waiting. Um, so I did this little thing here. Um, so I got some carpenter stairs and then I kind of ringed them like the little edges there. It kind of gives it a little bit of an edge. And you know what? It's not that bad. I kind of like it. So I think that's what we're going to keep it as there. So. Um, in other words, too, and perhaps much more significantly, there's things gone. Lots of things. Big things. So, there was the little lookout tower here. I took that down. Um, it was, like, four blocks up and, like, in a total pain of a location. Um, additionally, there was a house there, and I got rid of that, too. Um, so, we're going to be redoing that, making it look a little bit different. And then um, we lowered the um, the well here um, because it was really high up as well. And then what we figured out, um, which is really cool, and this is m a big motivation for leveling out this plane or this field right or space right here, was the cemetery is on the same level as over here. And I kind of don't want to mess too much with the cemetery. It's pretty cool in the way it spawned. Um, Maybe I might put something on the headstones. Um, but yeah. It's pretty cool. I think it's cool at least. Oh, maybe there's guys in the graves. Huh. Never thought of that. Let's see here. This is a little bit of just a in-game exploration here. down I hear him ah so yes we have we have indeed reached the under under place so um yeah we might be doing something about that later um i'm thinking we might be doing that with uh, mechanism but that's to be seen as you can see i got some fancy new swords and stuff um a fancy new sword i got several actually and uh, they're all in various states of disrepair so uh, i've been kind of using them um kind of to preserve the long sword but um, over here, I kind of flattened out this area. Um, I brought it up to here. So I'm thinking in a couple of later episodes, we'll be bringing it out more, possibly even extending it that way even more. So then we can have some room for fields um, for farming. And we might just do that over there and put like some kind of... Okay. Put some kind of... Um, like large field with barn in over here and then that'll kind of round out that um however we moved this field up quite a bit here and then we've surrounded pretty much all of these houses with extra dirt and then we're going to bring this all the way over to that ledge there so um this whole village was very depressed in comparison to um it, the surrounding landscape it's basically in like a giant valley and while that's cool and all, we're going to use common sense and we're going to say, no, we're not going to have a village that's in a depression. So we're going to bring it up a little bit, and then that's going to help us out quite a bit, I, I think, in terms of the aesthetics, too, and how it fits in with the environment. Um, we also crafted ourselves a watering can, which is really cool. 
by right clicking we can make our crops grow faster however our crops do not grow exceptionally fast the water can is kind of like a um, an equivalent to bone meal um, that's very 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 nerfed but you can see that whoops, the watering can is crafted pretty easily. We already had a bowl, we had some bone meal, we had some iron, and then um, you can pretty much go from there. Um, in the peaceful mode, you can do this with a stone. We don't, we're not on peaceful mode though, um, so we're going to be just focusing on our um, our mode here. So we're going to be using the what we should be using. Um, that kind of came out a little bit weird. Um, regardless, um, let's see here. We have a sheep. It's pretty cool. Stuffing things. I love that term. I watch another YouTuber, and he uses it quite a bit. And so if it, if it sounds familiar, that might be where it's from. Right, so what are we going to do in this episode? In this episode, I'm thinking we're going to be getting started on some mechanism stuff. Mechanism is a, an immense mod. It is massive. So we're going to be getting started on some other automation type, type stuff too. So I'm thinking we're going to do the mechanism stuff probably in this area right here because it's pretty space consuming. Um, and then we'll worry about closing up this wall area later just because I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, so we already have quite a bit of stuff stockpiled so as you can see i made um the smeltery automated and then i put some gold in there and now it's kind of like wrecked but you know what it's whatever it's working right now um so what i did was i smelted down all that osmium so we got 59 ingots out of that i went ahead and i smelted down some iron so we got 20 we got like 32 and then i ground up a couple of silver and some gold that I actually had to sift for for quite some time and I made some electrum ingots and electrum is going to be pertinent for us um, going forward so as you can see it's just some silver grit and gold grit or dust whatever you whatever you want to call it and uh, so that's going to be pertinent for us going forward with this invar which is going to be used for um, another project as well. And we're going to be working on that as well today. It's part of the other automation type stuff. In terms of our mechanism stuff, we have the osmium and the iron, and we're going to be needing quite a bit. You know what? We're just going to grab a whole stack. We're going to be needing quite a bit of cobblestone. So why do we need so much cobble? Because... We need to produce, like, three furnaces right off the bat. And the reason we need to do that, because we're going to look at the first thing we need to get anything to work in mechanism, a heat generator. We don't necessarily need to use a heat generator. We can use um, any, technically, any generator. Um, I believe that the way Modsauce 2 is set up is that extra utilities power can be used in mechanism as well. Um, however, we're probably just going to keep it just with mechanism for right now. So in mechanism, it's you got all these um, different things that produce um, electricity. So you have um, heat generator, which produces a couple of joules, a solar generator, gas burning generator, a bio generator, an advanced solar generator, a wind turbine, and um, you have these mechanism reactors or generators, which is all this reactor stuff. Wow, um, quite a bit of stuff. And then you have all these other generators too, which produce, um, I believe these produce RF, but there might be some compatibility between the two in this. I, th I think that's where it's coming from. So we're going to be doing the basic heat generator. The heat generator is going to be um, a little bit more feasible for us because it's really cheap. It's just a furnace, a couple of copper ingots, some wood planks, and some iron. Uh, we can go ahead and grab a couple of wood planks, and then we can go toss the iron down, throw the osmium in, 
grab the wood there, and then what was the last part? I kind of forgot it. Biofuel generator. Nope. Here we go. Copper. There we go. So we got copper. Perfect. And there we go. We have a, our mechanism generator. Now, how do we get this to work? Well, we need to actually use it with lava. So lava, we have buckets. So there's our buckets. Yeah, we got we collected quite a bit of stuff. Um, need to sort some of that stuff out. Um, so we'll grab a couple of buckets here. So we'll grab um, a bucket there and a bucket there. And it goes ahead and it creates some electricity. Now I'm sure everyone already knows what mechanism is and that this is a pretty useless tutorial. However, bear with me. Now if we go ahead and we do this, we go ahead and we can continuously produce energy over time while it's sitting above the heat. I believe. Either that or it's got to be parallel. Um, not entirely sure. Um, I can't remember entirely. Uh, however, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pump a whole bunch of lava into it. And there we go. So we got that going. I'm thinking actually maybe... Maybe we have to put it in somehow. Let's see. We'll just go ahead and maybe it has to be like that. No, nope. okay, whatever. Right, so now that we have our mechanism generator, we need mechanism piping. So mechanism piping is called universal cable. For some reason, my computer is being a little bit slow at the moment. Um, bear with me. So universal cable, where is that at? Um, all right, let's see, biogenerator. Here we go. Advanced universal cable. Um, basic universal cable is what we can start with. So we just need some steel and some redstone. We don't have steel at the moment though, so that's kind of an issue. But mechanism is really cool. Is if your generator is touching your other machine, you can go ahead and just use it. Um, so we have iron and um, or so our other machine that we're going to be aiming for is the metallurgic infuser, which is pretty much the basic thing for everything mechanism. So we'll need some stone dust stuff. Um, redstone is what this basically can be. And then we'll need um, an osmium ingot, um, and then uh, iron ingot, and a couple of furnaces. So we already have the furnaces. So then we'll throw in our osmium ingot, and then we'll throw in our iron ingots, put our redstone in, grab our infuser out, and then that's not getting transferred any power, and this is where things start breaking down on us. All right, let's see here. Um, using, needed, side config input uh, dark put energy so I believe I believe that you are front top side back and then so you're just there ah uh, great Let's see if we can cheat a little bit. Can we use energy transport? Nope, can't. Let's see. What about energy transport here? Ah, great. Can we just put it on top?
dark green. There is a way to do this. All right, let's see here. It's not getting any energy transfer. Let's see. Mechanical pipe. Basic pressurized tube. Universal cable. I mean, I really need steel for this. I really need to get... I was kind of counting that to get steel out of this. Um, okay, let me give a cu quick cut. Come back, check this, and then we'll keep going. All right, we're back. So we figured it out. Um, for whatever reason, it does things like this, and I am confused. So um, we ended up turning all sides on to um, green, and then we turned off a couple of sides. And so now we have to put some more coal in it. Darn it. Right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making steel first. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And that's probably way too much coal to put in there initially. So while that does that, we're going to go smelt some iron. Iron, 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 where'd you go? All right, so we're back, and so mechanism is well underway. So we have our enrichment chamber fully built, and here it is. So it's built, it's powered, we built some universal cables, so the power issue is over. So the, only the front of the heat generator, or what I perceive as the front, is able to produce power, which is a pain. And then it doesn't really hold that much, so we're going to have to do some more over time. However, we're just going to hope to get enough done as it is right now. Um, what we're going to do with the enrichment chamber is we're going to be pulverizing this obsidian, and hopefully we'll have enough energy to get enough in, and so we'll get some obsidian dust. And what are we going to do with this obsidian dust? So I'll show you what we're going to do over the long period of time. We're going to be aiming, aiming for the robotic miner, or the digital miner, so to speak. So to do that, we need this metallic alloy, which needs refined obsidian dust, which needs this reinforced alloy, which needs diamond dust, which we also need to use the enrichment chamber for. And then we're going to need uh, enriched alloy, which is redstone and um, an iron ingot. To get all of this, we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven enriched ingots, and um, quite a few atomic ones on top of that. So as you can see, we have our work cut out for us. Um, uh, but to focus on the atomic, we only need three. It looks like no, we're gonna need. So everything pretty much needs to be atomic as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and work on that real fast, and we'll be right back. Alright, finally, we are ready to start crafting this thing. So I already have these things laid out, um, so now all we need to do is uh, make this robot thing. So if we were to go over here, we can hit the question mark, and we get this really cool, helpful guide. And we make the robot. And now we just need to make these teleportation mechanisms, which we conveniently got a whole bunch of lampies for. <laughs> so I ended up having to um, gather um, quite a bit more in the way of um, resources. And I ended. I, I tried using the auto sifter that we made, and you know, that's unreliable at best. So we ended up um, going back to the um, the mining dimension to get him. All right. So let's see here. We're gonna go here, 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 and then where are the other two things? I think I have. Um, Stored for safekeeping. Alright. 
here, 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 and throw a steel casing on it. Put some of that, and we actually made too much atomic alloy. But you know what? That's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. And there we go. There we have it. We have our very own digital miner. And if we were to make some more steel, we could... What? What are you doing? Alright. So we, if we were to make some more um, of these things, we could hook this up to here. We could put a pipe on top, have it spit out the back. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, so after the end of this episode, I mean, it'd be really nice to have this thing run in this episode. However, we're going to have to make some more steel and that's going to be a headache. I mean, I can get a head start on that right now. It's not too big a deal. Oh. Let's see here. What does that go to? Um, quite a bit of burn time. So, oh, you have obsidian in you, so then that makes 40 of you. Yeah, we need you two. Go in there. Yeah, but you get your pic you get the picture. This is gonna be a project um, for a while. I mean, we could even just go ahead and what do we have? We have pickaxe and push it up. Another thing. All right, there we go. Let me just grab you, and then hop up on top of you, put you there, and then what do we gotta do? Just grab you, and then we have a whole bunch of you start up. So then we just go ahead. And Grab uh, what a box. We just do a box. A box is fine, right? And the box always goes on the butt, so then there's a butt. And so auto eject on auto pull silk touch. We can do silk touch on. Then we can hit our config. So then we hit new filter or dictionary. Set us all okay. That's fine. Alright, so let's see here. New fill. No. 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 Okay, so. Let's say minimum 10, max 60. Oh, we could just say minimum 0. Radius 10. Inverse mode. No, we just. We could just hit start. Let's see. Alright, so. If I remember, we have to make item filters. So we have to... Or dictionary, and we can be like, what do we, what do we need? Diamond, right? Diamonds are good. And then save. And then I think we can start off with this, right? No? Okay. So I'll touch off. Config, delete, material, using material, Ugh. I think actually, mod ID, material, no item. Material of. Okay. New 
or dictionary. Fuzzy mode. Let's say that we want what? What's it used for? Ah, that's me. There we go. That's useful. Filter. There we go. That's me more. Save. Right. So this is what I remember. So then we hit select touch on. And then we hit start. It finds everything that it needs to mine. And then it goes. Um, so it uses a lot of energy. Like ridiculous amounts of it. So, um,. You don't. I don't think you necessarily need to have um, silk touched ores. I believe there's a way you can search everything. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how this thing works. Um, it needs a significant amount of energy to mine over time. So um, we'll have to be bulking up our energy production system next. And that'll be the next big episode. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining. Um, sorry if it was a little bit boring, too crafty, um, too long. We think this is uh, going to be a longer episode. But um, if you like the videos, please leave a like, subscribe. The more subscribers I see, the more videos I'll post. I'm just trying to get some content out there right now. I'm relatively new to YouTube, so um, I definitely want to see um, my channel succeed. We already have a whole bunch of um, it's me and more. Look at that. Um, but yeah, um, please follow me on Twitter. Hang out. Come chill with me. You know, it's always a good thing. All right. Have a good day.